All right, Pisces, let's do another reading. Let's see what's coming in with this full moon eclipse. What is being eclipsed out of your life and what is coming in? One door closes, another one opens, right? <laughs> All right, so what's being eclipsed out of Pisces life? What is going out of my Pisces life? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. So if you guys have strong Pisces placements, this reading may resonate with you. Um, yeah. So Pisces, what's being eclipsed out of Pisces life? Full Moon. In Taurus. All right. What's being eclipsed out of Pisces life, please, Spirit? Three cards. Oh, hope. Emotion. I seen this card right before I started. Okay, so emotional loss and solitude. So some of you guys may have been staying to yourselves. Um, some of you guys may have been very isolated. Some of y'all may have been studying, focused on yourself, going through. There could have been some type of an emotional loss that you've went through. That's being uh, taken out of your life. I feel like you guys need to have hope and faith for a situation. I feel like there's a hidden message here. Oh, shit. Damn it. So let's see. I want to read this one from the book because I feel like there's something here that So hope, this card, this is a card that focuses on the qualities of hope, faith, healing, aspirations, and success, and finally, enlightenment. When this card appears, know that you have a, know that a special wish you have made may be fulfilled in time. The hope card will help you so, show, <laughs> that the impossible can indeed become possible. The force that works through your soul, determining, determine whatever, determine, spirit really, determining the possible and the difference between success over failure and above all who we are is the power of your belief. As this card serves as a reminder to use your natural ability of intuition, the language of the soul, as you reach your goals and desires, the future can be yours when you have hope and trust in everything you do. So soon others will be attracted and drawn to your inner light. Learn to share your experiences and lessons for those around you will also recognize by having faith and pushing forward there where one may have felt no hope at all is the key to success. Above all, maintaining a positive attitude starting right now. This is the very minute. This very minute will allow your soul to soar. You'll discover an opportunity to shine as you reach for the stars. So it's kind of like the star card in traditional tarot. Um, if there's been something that you've been hope wishing and hoping and dreaming, I feel like that hope is about to turn into reality. That's what's being eclipsed out of your life. So, damn, that's a powerful message. I'm so glad I read that because I would have not seen that correctly. Anyways, by what, <laughs> blow my own mind over here. What is being eclipsed out of your life? So it's not like hope is being eclipsed out of your life. Something that you were wishing for, wishing on a star for, something that you were wishing for is no longer just going to be a hope or a wish, okay? It's going to be reality. Damn, Pisces. That should give me chills. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. An emotional loss. If there was any type of uh, heartache or pain or something that you were feeling like you lost, I feel like that's going to be found. <laughs> Pisces, look at you. Okay, solitude is being eclipsed out of your life. So if you felt like, you know, there's nothing wrong with solitude. Solitude is a great fucking card. It's a great energy. Um, we all have to go into solitude. Those, those people who do not go into solitude, um, those, those people who do not go into solitude are living in the matrix, okay? You have to go into solitude I don't know. Back and forth, back and forth. If you're always out there on the go, 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 it's like you don't really have time to sit with yourself and 
to discover things or to think things through or whatever you got to do in, in that time of solitude. I know I had to take a day yesterday, like, to chill out um, because I was, you know, doing too much. But <laughs> anyways, so let's see. Show me what's coming in for Pisces. So if there was a period of time when you felt alone or you just felt isolated or um, y'all actually this was very beneficial for you because I feel like you've learned a lot. You have the book of knowledge in your hand. So whatever. Um, hold on, I got to take this. All right. Sorry about that. OK, so what is coming in for Pisces after this full moon in Taurus? What is coming in? for Pisces after this full moon in Taurus. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right. So temptation Pisces first card out. This is what's coming in. All right. There could be some type of temptations coming in. Uh, I have to say what I see. It could be somebody who is a uh, chocolate orientation. Um, this could be someone who's very strong, sturdy, or this is uh, also a firm foundation. So fours is about stability. Um, there could be some temptation coming in. Maybe you're being tempted by something. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Um, the universe is here as well. So new possibilities are opening up for you. This could be doing something worldwide, world now. 21 is also like the completions of cycles. Um, and also the beginning of new cycles. A firm foundation is coming in for you. Um, let's break this down a little bit. There could be some obstacles and challenges here surrounding some type of spiritual union or moving on. Someone may be like moving on, emotionally withdrawing from something in order to work on um, their, their base chakra, their, their foundation. OK, their security, their stability. Someone here has gained some type of awareness about a situation. Someone's trying to follow the light because someone here is feeling bored and discontent in the situation. Someone, again, gaining clarity with the crown chakra. Someone's standing their ground. OK. That came out in the last reading I just did right before this, standing your ground. Anyways, all right, so let's break this down. Um, actually, I'm going to use this deck. What's this temptation coming in for Pisces? Three cards only. Show me if this temptation is good temptation or bad temptation. So... Some of y'all may be trying to avoid temptation or maybe you're needing to avoid temptation and, and, and work on your foundation. OK, work on creating some type of stability in your life. If, you know, closing out cycles, starting a brand new cycle. I do feel like there's some type of a wish coming in for you, though. The end of emotional discontent. The end of solitude, the end of being alone or feelings of being alone, or feeling isolated, okay? Uh, yeah. What is this temptation, please? Good or bad for Pisces? The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Two of Pentacles, so... Mm. And the devil, Capricorn. Shit. All right. So there could be someone here who's juggling or you may be going back and forth or juggling something that you feel tempted by. This could be a Cancer or a Capricorn or someone with that energy. Um, but this involves some type of travel. There could be some type of addictions, you know, to sex, drugs, money, gambling, alcohol. What's the devil here for? What is the devil here for? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Hanged One Reverse. Somebody here is not like. Huh. So 
So either somebody's getting themselves unstuck out of a situation and gaining some type of like loyalty, stability, or someone's refusing to see something here that somebody's married and somebody's juggling. This could be someone at a distance or someone who travels or works in the transportation industry. But there's definitely temptation here. And someone is like refusing to see that somebody is either in a commitment. What is this? Uh, King of Pentacles energy. The moon. Yeah, someone's someone's hiding something here, keeping something secret. The tower, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right, something here is going to blow up in someone's face, possibly. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, because someone's given to two here. Someone, Someone's being breadcrumbed. That may come as a shock to you. Seven of Swords, yeah, because someone's going to get caught cheating, lying, or stealing. Yeah, third party energy, Ace of Cups. Someone, someone's starting something new. Or someone here is wanting a brand new beginning in love, but right now it's a third party. Or there's someone in a relationship who's being a player in and out. Very flighty type of energy, trying to win at all costs. Could definitely be a Leo with the strength and the sun right next to each other. All right, but someone's wanting to put in the work. But someone here is working on something behind the scenes. Someone's watching you, Pisces. Someone has their eye on you. Show me this firm foundation. Six of six of swords. You may need to move away from a situation and focus on your on your foundation here. Um or so, something maybe moving into calmer waters. Um and tell me more. Ten of Wands. There's some Moving away from a situation and healing some type of heartbreak and, and someone's in a mental, feeling stuck in like a mental prison over a mother figure or an empress or a Taurus or a Libra because there's another woman here who's very jealous and spiteful. Someone here wants to heal some type of heartbreak or this empress may have a firm foundation but could be being weighed down or burdened by their thoughts about moving away from a situation. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Someone's trying to heal from something because someone here is promiscuous. This could be the same energy over here. Like someone's about to get caught up for something though. Show me the universe. Why is the universe here? Yeah, the full card. It's a new beginning. Um, Aries energy. The universe is guiding somebody towards taking that leap of Taking a brand new leap of faith, okay? Taking some type of a risk. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone may be quitting or changing jobs and offering love or wanting to express their emotions. This Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, someone's worried about making some type of an offer of commitment to possibly you, Pisces. Or you are. Yeah, there could be some obstacles and challenges here when it comes to some type of sacred union. Because someone needs to move on. Or someone is moving on and emotionally withdrawing from a situation and focusing on their stability. Because they've gained some type of awareness that something here just doesn't satisfy them. Four, four cups. They're bored and discontent. Someone here is standing their ground, but they feel defeated. Something here is like out of out of sync, out of harmony. Someone's more fo someone's focusing on their material harvest and trying to move on from a situation. So, so really. Give me one second, y'all. I gotta skip this ad. It's quite entertaining, though. Maybe not. All right. So, yeah. I'm gonna leave this part here. Let's get some cards from the Moonology deck. All right. So, someone here is still juggling the situation. Um, there's gonna be some temptation coming in.
right, what other messages do you have for Pisces? Let's get four cards. Four messages for Pisces for this full moon. messages please for this full moon after this reading i'm going to get on here and do pisces dealing with cancer and scorpio all right four cards please single jumping cards only spirit a personal issue reaches a resolution full moon and cancer okay so some type of a personal issue may reach a resolution uh, could be dealing with the cancer don't have to be we did see cancer energy coming out conclusions are within reach a time for healing and time to take action. So someone may be taking action, trying to heal some type of a situation. It's time to release negativity. I don't know why that caught my eye. I was looking at the scorpion. Scorpio energy. A new start is coming. New moon energy. Okay. And bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Being told to get one more, one more card, please. A win-win outcome is in the forecast and a time for healing again. So someone here needs to heal. There is a win-win outcome here in the forecast, but I think something may need some more time. Okay. There is a new start coming. A personal itch issue will reach a resolution. And conclusions are within reach. So something here is in the works, all right? Divine timing is at play and emotions are running high, super moon. Okay, so emotions could be running high at this time. There could be some temptation coming in. You guys, this is like, this is the energy. Um, I feel like some there's something here that's in between worlds. It's like something is being... A wish is coming in, but something isn't over. So say if you're dealing with like, you know what I'm getting? There's like karmic completions going on right now. So there's cycles that are being completed. I keep seeing the world card, you know, two cycles could be coming to a completion, but there's a brand new one starting. So depending on what side of the spectrum, if you were dealing with the karmic relationship, um, there's some type of temptation for sure, for sure going on, but I feel like um, something's about to shift. Right now, Pisces, I feel like you just need to focus on your stability, focus on your firm foundation, your job, the things around you, stability, security, um, your finances. Um, let divine timing work out whatever it's working out. There is conclusion conclusions that are within reach. And it is going to bring in some type of wish fulfillment. The end of um, feeling isolated or alone. Or feeling some type of an emotional loss. But I don't feel like something here is quite over. Okay, let's get three more cards for this reading. What else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading? And we were just reading about spirit. What else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading? I want to feel fine. Just show me the light instead of pulling me down to the ground. Pick me up and take me up higher. Just take me up higher. Breathe and imagine. All that glitters isn't gold. That came out in the reverse. So again, I feel like things are going to start to be illuminated or maybe you already know something. But that seven of swords that came out in reverse, it's like somebody here is already getting caught. Something is being dismantled. Um... If someone was breadcrumbing or given to two, that's already like pretty much known about. All right. It's already known. So yeah, yeah. Just breathe. Whatever you imagine you can create. Okay. Keep in mind, you guys are powerful manifestors. Okay. So if you're sitting here thinking negative thoughts, you're going to manifest negative shit into your life. If you're thinking positive and like, you know, be careful what you think of. Be careful what you dream of or imagine. I know you can't help what you dream sometimes, but I'm talking like daydreaming or fantasizing or whatever the hell you guys be doing. You know, Pisces be going into dreamland like a mofo. <laughs> we be like, gone. 
So be careful what you're like manifesting. You're manifesting that shit, okay? Because there's something here about imagine, you know? It's like whatever you imagine, you can create. Just breathe, okay? Bring that that very uh, centered, grounded meditation energy into your life, okay? That's so crazy because uh, this morning me and my daughter just made a... Um, over the weekend, I got inspired to start our start working out again. I fell off there for a few months, but uh, yeah, yeah, we're starting a 60 day challenge. So starting today, <laughs> later today. But um, anyways, yeah, so maybe some of you guys are being inspired or um, maybe some of you guys, you know, yeah. I actually did some yoga over this weekend and meditated and tried to ground myself as well. Maybe that's something that you guys are needing to do. Like sit down, ground yourself, do some stretches, sit with self. Okay. All that glitters isn't gold, but I feel like that's going to be changing. Truth be told. Yeah. Someone's going to speak out and tell the truth with that seven of swords in reverse. Um, soulmates. Yeah. I feel like you guys are dealing with someone, a soul, a very passionate soulmate. And someone wants to do something by the book and build something. Someone wants to build something up by the book. Like do things, let's do things right. Okay. Someone's going to speak their truth. All right. And stop hiding shit. All that glitters isn't gold with these masks. It came out in the reverse. So somebody may be taking off the mask or, um, you know, speaking some type of truth, but that may bring about some type of new beginning. There is temptation here. Um, where did I get this? But I feel like there's good things that are changing, positive changes for you guys. The end of feeling alone or isolated or feeling that emotional loss. That's what's being taken out of your life. Um, whatever you've been wishing and hoping for, I feel like it's not going to be a wish or a hope anymore. It's going to be reality. So um, keep working on you. Keep working on your foundation, on your stability. Stay grounded, y'all, and know that I love you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.